Seven reasons to play the machinist is being summoned like summoning Bob onto the field to smash my enemies into oblivion. To say that I enjoy the machinist is actually an understatement. The PvP never ends with the machinist and I love it so much that it is even in my banner art of my channel. Yes, PvP to make them QQ, I absolutely adore this aesthetic and the fact that machinist casts gun. Technically a spellcaster if you look at it that way. This brings us to elevator pitch time for the machinist and the machinist is going to be the ranged harbinger of destruction, fully in control of its own damage, comprised of multiple sweet, sweet dopamine buttons that we're going to talk about in a moment. The machinist chains together those dopamine hits non-stop. There's a reason that I made a short video called Machinist's Ultimate Drill No Jutsu. It feels amazing, powerful, feels like you're on top of the world, genuinely. This rotation is going to be feeding you into also summoning your big Omnic Butler and this expansion. There is so much more. Bob, do something! Yoshi P gave us this new mad bun called Chainsaw that also hits like a truck, it is aesthetically absolutely bizarre, <laughs> and it is fucking incredible. It also gives 20 more battery, and you know what, I will never complain about more Big Omnic Butler. Not once ever will I complain about that, I love it. If you feel inspired to try out the Machinist and enjoyed this, I'd super appreciate if you did a reassemble chainsaw on that like button, and cat daddy that subscribe button. God help that poor like button, it's gonna hurt. Reason number one for playing the Machinist is one that I feel so much myself, and it's just like I said in the elevator pitch, is that the dopamine does not stop flowing even if you are at the most like minor part of your brain enjoying a big bursty massive girthy thick big dick dps numbers machinist is delivering that in full talk about drill every 20 seconds air anchor the brand new chainsaw ability every minute and those aren't even the big daddy of these skills you get a two minute cooldown that you charge up called wildfire that bursts for tremendously massive damage under raid buffs it's kind of crazy let me not forget the grand daddy of enabling all this burst which really makes all these abilities this drill air anchor chainsaw go wild called reassemble which guarantees that your next weapon skill that you use after it is going to be a direct critical hit or a critical direct hit even after all these years I still mess it up I'm not going to dive into the math of it but that is both a critical strike and a direct hit having a baby that turns those big burst skills into crazy numbers it's way higher than a direct hit way higher than just a crit it's so so good i don't want to miss this is that reassemble in endwalker has also even become even better than it was before in shadowbringers it's now on a two charge system so any downtime any phase transition in a boss means that you have the opportunity to get more stacks of these reassemble it's lit reason number two is that the machines doesn't have a static global cooldown between abilities machinist baseline yeah, you should be avoiding skill speed like it's your extended family or your in-laws at Thanksgiving or Christmas, but <laughs> she just has this fantastic built-in system called the Heat Gauge System that they build up through their rotation and then they can tap into to temporarily tank their GCD to a very, very rapid, very low 1.5 second GCD. So machinists being boring and simple, nah, hell no, popping into the overheated state and bursting out the heat blast mechanic feels absolutely fantastic. Often in my own gameplay, in my own guides, I'm calling this a heat blast burst phase and it deserves that. It feels so bursty. Gets into the second point of this point, the sub point if you would, which let's take a moment and talk about two very important abilities called Goss Round and Ricochet. These are off GCD abilities that you will be dumping into the target nonstop. Sure, their damage on their own isn't impressive from the tooltip, but that's the trick of it. Starting off at three charges, these are death by a thousand pew pews abilities. Death by a thousand pew pews. Sometimes I actually don't know how to come up with this shit, but it's true. The three charges thing might seem random, but you're going to be very thankful that they have three charges because that's not just to fill up your opener. For the next interaction that they have with your kit, Heat Blast is interacting with these two abilities that every time you cast Heat Blast is going to lower the cooldown on both Goss Round and Ricochet by 15 seconds. And so each Heat Blast that you cast gives you basically half of both of them because they're baseline 30 seconds, so 15 is half. This translates into at your lower 1.5 second GCD popping a single weave of one of Goss Round or Ricochet between each of these will lead into point number three. The reason three is that the machinist burst cycles are very fast and that's another way that the machinist really scratches that big wrinkly monkey brain. <laughs> One moment yeah you're chilling you're enjoying life and just on like the beach and you're just like oh, I, I'm chilling but then all of a sudden your two minute burst window comes up and then it's like oh my wamo shindevru or whatever that meme says. <laughs> then all this rapid heat blast goes around ricochet nonsense feeds directly into wildfire which makes wildfire explode for a glorious 
glorious amount of damage. It's huge. And with raid buffs, it is so actually crazy. Point being with this point is that so while the machinist during its downtime is more chill factually, machinist kicking it into overdrive is just great. And you actually feel like you are putting the pedal down to the metal. Reason 4 is all about Bob do something. And I've skirted around this since I mentioned him at the start, but machinist has a big omnic butler and I don't care to use the proper name often because I'm just living in my own fantasy like Valentina and calling my Bob whatever this automaton queen thing is is not a part of my fantasy and so I don't acknowledge it. But let's talk about him for a second. In Endwalker you're going to be summoning Bob more than ever before. Just feels so ridiculously powerful when you summon Bob. Like genuinely when this ability was first revealed in Shadowbringers had people genuinely screaming at the screen as they reacted. Like y'all there there's nothing like you two. <laughs> <laughs> the Square Enix d d deliver and it delivered hard with this fantasy with Bob and we've only gone to see more and more and more of it given Chainsaw twice, 20 more battery every more minute. It's just more Bob than ever. Not to mention that Bob now has new tricks in Endwalker and that Bob's ultimate and yes he has his own ultimate is going from Pile Bunker that in and of itself sit, hits for 680 potency. I said 680, yeah, that wasn't a typo. Look at the tooltip on the screen, which is a wow spike damage. But now, in Endwalker, also gets a Crowned Collider ability, which hits after that for 780 potency of damage. To translate it for Pride Month, Bob is walking the children in nature and slaying the runway every time she is summoned. Work automaton queen, y'all slay. I'm so fucking sorry. So reason number five is that machinist takes responsibility for themselves and all of their damage. Machinist is the ranged physical DBS version of... Uh, not summoner black mage or the samurai which is fantastic because i've been in party fighter too many goddamn times where i'm stuck with people who i give buffs to that decide to fully raid buff jump into bad and die hello my dancer friends out there i acknowledge you i know your struggle hello my bard friends out there my dragoon friends and <laughs> literally go on and on literally everyone who isn't explicitly machinist samurai or black mage i know the struggle Hence why this is an intergalactic, super big brain moment for the machinist to really take a stand. No Karen from HR, and no Cindy from finance, you don't deserve nice things. This is my damage, get out the hell. <laughs> get the hell out of here, you nasty. And reason number six is that machinist also does all of its mechanics while fully mobile, which means that you can invade mechanics, like the orange marker, the stack marker that went into the boss, that's like healers or casters or whatever why did you take the, the the stack marker into the box and wipe the team you you could avoid that as the machinist as well as you can take responsibility for mechanics and open up more melee of time and the rest for your melee friends so that they can do more damage to the boss i reiterate points that i've said in earlier videos i don't know why some melee dps are toxic when it's like y'all we, we're literally conforming everything that we do to help you can y'all calm down? As a side note, in fights that require a lot of movement, like Machinist is top dog in the Ultima Unreal trial right now, and that's because Machinist is that mobile. And so you're doing your DPS while mobile, and you feel all the perks in a fight that really demands mobility. Like, Machinist is definitely, like, there's a reason why it's so good in some instances. Now, reason six is polymorphing with reason seven into my next point, and know what great utility is? Damage. And I do not enjoy... I do not like dying to enrage timers. Old Adage went, the best CC is death. See, Machinist gets a rough time for its current DPS balance in Savage 2, but honestly, considering that you're fully mobile and you are fully in charge of your own DPS, Machinist is one of my number one picks for Party Finder or Savage rating, especially with a weaker group. And Rage Timers are a thing in this game, and it really sucks to hit them because you gave away your DPS to other people and you're like, well... That's a problem. But people who think that they have a very big wrinkly brain will go on to FF logs and say, well, the machinist has 600 less DPS than the absolute best DPS, which I need to remind you is still not even the best idea to compare between roles because you're literally comparing the number one DPS, which is a melee DPS, which is generally favored in a savage tier that peace and love and anyone who's rated in this game knows has been very 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 kind to melee still you're comparing between these roles and you need one of every role for that juicy five percent buff but even then machinist is only when you look at the numbers seven percent behind the absolute top dog reason five was y'all need jesus and don't deserve dance or bard buffs but consider 
consider. Mechanically, Samurai needs to be in melee range with a bad PF or a bad static group piece in love. Likely means that you need to disengage or die, because why did the caster or the healer come into the hitbox with a Shiva spread mechanic? And the, the Black Mage is frankly very, very difficult to play uh, for 90% of the population and even harder when you're in that PF group or that rough static. And I know 90% people are going to be like, blah, blah, blah. But 99.9% .9 of stats are made up on the spot, don't ask. But what I'm trying to get at with this point is basically Machinist is still a very highly coveted, very, very viable, and very powerful option as a DPS. And I feel like after multiple rounds of buffs, that it actually is now in a decent spot. Did I think that it, that launch event walker? No, no, I'm not backtracking, no, but it's a bit buffed a lot, but in right now, unless all of the ranged physical DPS role is hauled up from the literal depths of hell and despair, Machinist is actually the top dog at the median outside of the most bleeding edge competent teams. And you know it's true, but unfortunately it's very unlikely that you and I are going to be blessed with one of these top percentile teams whenever we're going into Party Finder. Well, do you know how many times I've died to end singers in Rage? End singers. It basically doesn't even have a DPS check, and yet I've seen that. Guys, what the fuck? Reason 7 is Flamethrower. That's really it. Flamethrower. Flamethrower your enemies. Flamethrowering the ERP and limbs of because that's cursed. Flamethrowering the demons. I mean the Lalafels, whatever, same thing. Same thing. But Flamethrower is the way of life. Flamethrower is my lifestyle choice. <laughs> how that does it for this video the machinist for real machinist brings the pew pew it makes him qq -q. <laughs> the best cc in any game is death and the machinist is delivering the pew pew and i love the damage as my utility the non-stop rushes of dopamine and going slower and faster burst your gcd and then reassemble into this and it, it, just summoning my own personal big omnic butler saying bob do something it just works for me Anyhow, take care, everyone, and remember pew pew to make them qq. Honestly, thank y'all for tuning in.